Hi guys, this is Jeanette. Um, today I'm just doing a basic brow tutorial. So as you can see on my right brow, I have it finished. Um, I've done everything I need to do. So first, on my left brow, that's the one I'll be doing today. I'm just shaping it. And uh, for a little bit, I'll just be cutting some, um, some runaway hairs. Um, my hair is very curly on my eyebrows. So I'll just be shaping it up. And then I will go into the next step. So yeah, right now I'm just shaping my brows and just going um, in the upwards direction first, shaping them, and then in a downwards direction second, um, just to get all of those hairs um, from poking out when I do my brows. Um, I really need a touch up really bad, like a wax, but I just don't have time to get it done. Um, so yeah. Then I will go in with my um, brow. It's like brow mascara. I got this from Misha. It's a Korean um, brand, a cosmetics brand in Korea. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can find it online. And I got this in like a um, like a blonde brown color. <laughs> I know that's kind of redundant, but it's like a blonde brown. Um, and basically, I'm just going to fill my brows in with that. So basically, um, I'm just filling in my brows, and once that's done, um, I will go in with another brow pencil, um, but it's a pencil, not a mascara, and that is just a regular uh, Wet n Wild brow pencil. Uh, it's actually a, uh, I think it's a lip pencil, but I'm using it on, using it on my brows, and that's in like um, dark brown, and it's a little darker than the brow mascara, so I'm going to just put that at the tail of my um, eyebrow just to give it a better look um, because I think the brow mascara is just a little too light for my eyebrows. Um, in Korea they like to wear lighter brows so um, I want mine to look a little more natural so I'm just going to use that and I'm just going to uh, take my little spoolie I guess that's what it's called um, brow spoolie or the brow brush um, and just basically comb in the product into my brow hairs. Um, and I will just continue using the pencil until it gets dark enough to my liking. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just filling it in. Usually I just like to do it towards the end, but I guess this application, the mascara was a little too light. Um, so yeah, I'm just blending in all of the product, make it look more natural. Um, yeah, and when I do this, I think it makes it look like like my brow hair isn't scarce like it is um so yeah when that's done i will take my mac um studio water weight spf 30 foundation and nc45 and actually i like to use this as concealer um it's super lightweight and it has it's a it's brown i got this in korea and mac and hongdae but it's it's a okay match to my skin my winter tone though um i was a little lighter in the winter time so uh this matched my skin at the time but at, but now it's just a little too light for my skin and it's super sheer um so i would i just like to use it as uh, like as a concealer like just to highlight so basically i'll just be cleaning up my brows with it um and i don't really like that floating brows look so I like to blend in all of the product into my skin to make it look like my brows just naturally look the way they're supposed to. Um, I know they, they look okay now. Some girls actually wear their brows, like, you know, kind of with that highlight going around them. I don't really like that look. Um, so I just will blend in the mascara and, I mean, the um, foundation into my skin completely. I'm um, using my little concealer brush that I got from Dollar Tree, the dollar store. Um, and so I, I'm using two foundations here. I don't really like concealer. It's kind of, it just conceals. It's too, um, too, too, I guess. It doesn't really match my skin. I never find a concealer that matches my skin. So I like to use my foundation to touch up my brows and my face. But I have another foundation. It's a powder foundation from Sephora. It's in Coca 55. It was like $11 on sale. 
Um, and basically, I'll be using that powder to go on top of the liquid foundation that I have from MAC. Just to kind of seal in all the products. Um, sometimes I just go out with only my brows done. But um, I like to do that just to basically cap in the um, foundation to make sure it doesn't really move anywhere. And when I do this, I notice that when I'm sweating and stuff, my brows are still, you know, secure. None of the product is going anywhere. Sometimes I take a clear gloss, like a clear um, mascara gloss or clear uh, eyebrow gloss, like from e.l.f., and I put it over my brows just to make sure everything's locked in. But I don't think I need to do that today. So for the sake of this tutorial, uh, I'm just using the powder. And actually, I like to take the powder and put it on the front of my brow just to make it look more natural, kind of a fading effect. Uh, because I don't really like the boxy look, and sometimes I do that by accident. Um, but yeah, I like to put the foundation in the front. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, this is just an optional step. It's just highlight. Uh, I got this highlight from... Um, nature republic and oh it's in korean and there's i can't see the name of it um yeah i can't it's a number two but i got it from nature republic i don't remember how much it was but i like it it's really kind of shimmery and i just put that on the top and bottom of my brow and yeah it really makes them look kind of more enhanced um so yeah that's my natural brow tutorial thank you guys for watching and you have a great day bye